four, three, two, one. MDS, we have ignition, we have a liftoff. Roll program is in on time, vehicle response is normal. NASA's Voyager 1 probe, the farthest human-made object from Earth, has made an impossible discovery after 45 years in space. In 1977, NASA sent two spacecrafts into space on an exploration mission unlike any other. The Voyager 1 and 2 were sent to explore the outer boundaries of our solar system and beyond. Currently, Voyager 1 probe is around 14.6 billion miles away from Earth while Voyager 2 probe, launched shortly after, is 12.2 billion miles away from home. Voyager 1 was the first to race by Jupiter and Saturn. The images Voyager 1 sent back have been used in school books and by many media outlets for a generation. The Voyager 2 discovered unexpected diversity, unlike the rocky inner planets Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. The outer planets are giant bodies of gas and liquid with no solid surfaces. And just now it has been announced that after nearly 45 years in space, Voyager has made a horrifying discovery. Stay tuned till the end of this video to learn more about this terrifying new discovery from the Voyager 1 and what it means for all of us. So, without any further ado, let's jump straight into the video. The universe is full of mysteries. Mysteries and unsolved puzzles that defy our current level of knowledge such as what astronauts and space explorers encounter. Since space is where the world's greatest secrets are kept, it's no surprise that explorers there are always uncovering new mysteries. When astronauts return from space missions, they always bring back unique data that can be used to further scientific inquiry and exploration. The importance of machines in these explorations is often overlooked in favor of highlighting man's achievements. This is why today, we will be discussing two essential pieces of equipment that have made substantial contributions to space exploration and continue to do so today. Even though these two machines have been in space for decades, they are still making amazing discoveries. But not all of it is good news for us. Let us look at the story of Voyager 1 and 2 as these spacecrafts manage to explore something quite terrifying in the space above us. Let us dive into some essential bits of the two spacecrafts. In August of 1977, a monumental step was taken to advance space exploration. NASA was at the forefront of this movement due to the agency's conviction that more emphasis should be placed on space exploration. Eight years had passed since Neil Armstrong had taken that first step on the surface of the moon, and at this point, NASA had the foresight to realize that they needed to expand on this. NASA was confident that they were acting in the most responsible manner by releasing the Voyagers into space. Both the Voyager 1 and the Voyager 2 were launched into orbit to provide us with a better understanding of what lies beyond our solar system. The Voyagers provided an excellent means by which these investigations might be carried out. The planets in our neighborhood had been sitting in wait to be discovered and investigated. Now, let's fast forward to the present day. The Voyagers have accomplished a great amount of work up to this point, and even after 45 years, they're still functioning fairly well. The construction of both spacecrafts are identical. Nevertheless, their intended courses of travel are distinct. Voyager 1 was tasked with taking pictures of Saturn's rings and Titan, the planet's largest moon. Subsequently, Voyager 2 was dispatched to take photographs of Saturn's rings and an even more difficult mission. It was launched into space with the mission of observing the planets in our neighborhood and figuring out what exactly lies beyond the blue world. The fact that the Voyager mission was only supposed to be in orbit for a total of around five years is the ironic twist that stands out the most. This year marks the 45th year that this has gone on, and there are still no indications that it will ever end. A round of applause is in order for the scientists who contributed to the Voyager project for this accomplishment. It is not simple to construct a machine that has a lifespan that is far longer than its original estimate. It's not your PlayStation, so you don't have to worry about keeping it clean, and it plays games flawlessly. But before we get into the frightening aspect of what the Voyagers have encountered, let's take a look at the accomplishments that the Voyagers have managed to accomplish so far with their primary and secondary missions, which are what they were designed to do. The journey for which the Voyagers were designed 
The spacecraft traversed the solar system while remote control reprogramming was used to offer the Voyagers with enhanced control capabilities. While it was established that the expedition encompassing all four planets was feasible, it was also determined that the cost of developing a spacecraft capable of traveling such a great distance, while also transporting the necessary instruments, was prohibitive. Specifically, the Voyagers were constructed with a lot of money so that they could study the planets of Jupiter and Saturn in great detail. There were almost 10,000 potential routes explored before it was decided that they would pass close to Jupiter and Saturn and their moons. It was planned for Voyager 1's initial course to take the spacecraft near to Titan as it passed beyond Saturn's rings. This curved the spacecraft's trajectory northward, away from the ecliptic plane. The vast majority of planets orbit the Sun in this plane. The trajectory of Voyager 2 took it through Saturn at an angle that would eventually lead it to Uranus. Uranus, its moons, magnetic field, and black rings were all discovered by Voyager 2 in 1986, and the spacecraft relayed a wealth of information and photographs back to Earth. During this time, Voyager 1 kept on its outward course and pressed on with its investigations of the cosmos. Voyager 1's equipment may have been the first of their kind to detect the transition from the solar system into interstellar space. As part of its interstellar mission, Voyager will push NASA's exploration beyond the solar system's outer planets and the sphere of influence of the Sun. This is because the value of what might be discovered beyond our current horizons is incalculable if no attempt is made to find it. The heliopause boundary, the boundaries of the Sun's magnetic field, and the outward flow of the solar wind will all be sought out by this mission as it continues to define the environment of the outer solar system. The heliopause is a border between the solar wind and the interstellar medium, and its penetration will allow for precise measurements to be taken. The interstellar mission is significant because it continues the work begun by the Voyager spacecraft in 1989 when it passed past Neptune. The Voyager spacecraft made its final outer planet stop at Neptune. Voyager 1 visited Jupiter and Saturn, while Voyager 2 explored the planets Neptune and Uranus. Voyager 1 has traveled 3.6 AU, or 35 degrees north of the ecliptic plane, in the direction of the Sun's apex as it leaves our solar system. The direction of the Sun's motion with respect to the surrounding stars is its apex. In contrast, Voyager 2 is leaving the solar system at a rate of around 3.3 AU per year. We'll get to the scary aspect of our issue at last, which is why you're here in the first place. It's how the aliens on Voyager 2 can communicate with us. It takes the Voyager 2 probe 13 hours to receive Earth-sent commands, so it is quite at a distance from home. However, information isn't always communicated in the most straightforward manner. It wasn't until the year's end that anybody suspected the explorer had encountered something out of the ordinary. Recently, Voyager 1 has been sending invalid data about its journey into an unexplored frontier. The glitch is affecting the probe's attitude articulation and control system, which orients the spacecraft on its travels and ensures that its communication antenna faces Earth. While the AACS system is correctly pointed towards Earth, it has started babbling random telemetry data and other gibberish about the probe being in positions that are not possible. The conspiracy theorists who immediately flocked to this hiccup converted it into a juicy rumor. It was speculated that aliens might have located the Voyager 2 probe and tampered with its programming to obstruct its communications with Earth. An expert in Germany has asserted that this glitch may be attributed solely to alien intervention, which at first glance would sound like nonsense. The UK's The Telegraph also joined the fray, adding to the suspicion by accepting the word of a UFO specialist without checking their claims with more reliable sources. All we wanted was attention and book sales. The most likely option is that something went wrong with the programming of the Voyager, but there's still no consensus that a UFO or aliens were involved. But the alien notion is undeniably one that can last for quite some time. Why? The reason being, it incorporates genuine human curiosity and isn't based solely on conjecture. If aliens really exist, it's likely they'd do more damage than simply tamper with the settings on a machine floating through their area. It could be a warning that we should avoid them. Whatever it is, it's not very logical, and we wouldn't bother knocking on a door that leads to an empty room. Take this with a grain of salt, but it's wonderful for speculating. 
All of our efforts should be directed at supporting the Voyager mission's continued operation, as this is the only way we can make progress in the area. The aliens might be too terrified to encounter us later on, which is why they might be sending signals to keep us away. That's good for speculation now. That pretty much wraps this video up, guys. Thanks for watching. So, what are your thoughts about Voyager's most recent discovery? Share with us in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel with a bell notification if you enjoy watching our content. We upload some awesome stuff here which you will most certainly enjoy. Hit a like on this video and leave a comment below. See you guys in the next one. You guys in the next.